seven now displaced after a raging fire gutted their Chula Vista home overnight. Look at the damage that it left behind. They were able to escape the ferocious flames with help from neighbors, but sadly, some of their pets didn't make it out alive. Let's get to Tanya's reporter Mimi Alcala, who is live there. Mimi, thank goodness for those neighbors who pulled everybody out one by one. Right, Virginia, Jason, they were able to get all seven family members out of the burning home through windows before firefighters got here to Kuyamaka Avenue. But sadly, this is what's left behind. Just the frame of the house is still standing. The inside just completely charred and these two cars out front charred as well. Yeah, it was horrible. I, I couldn't even believe that my wife was even saying that. David Loiza had just left for work before four this morning when he got a frantic phone call from his wife because she couldn't find anybody at first so she was she was screaming that everybody was I don't even want to say it but everybody was gone you know that was the first thing I heard was everybody was gone my switch my son he's only almost two years old a terrifying feeling for Louisa as he rushed home not knowing what was really going on but only seeing firefighters inside of what was left of the house Fortunately, the entire family of seven, including grandparents, parents, and children, made it out safely after neighbors woke up to loud popping noises and went outside. I heard her um, yelling. We were able to get them out of the window. I got the mother out of the one window, and um, other neighbors came in and helped, too, as well. Those neighbors putting their lives in danger to help the family who's lived here for more than 20 years. This neighborhood has always been very tight, so I'm not surprised at all that they helped, you know. And everybody here has always been really close together. Firefighters were able to rescue several dogs, but sadly, some of those pets didn't make it out alive. I am just thank God that, that we were able to get everybody out, you know, especially the kids. They're, they're the most important thing out of everything here. Um, yeah, we lost a couple dogs and I love them dearly because they were my life but but you know when things happen I don't know if that's for a reason but I mean, we got to deal with it and you're looking at fire investigators right now. They've been here throughout the day trying to figure out the cause of this fire. The family is staying with neighbors right now, but the Red Cross has offered help. The family has also set up a GoFundMe account. We do have that information posted on our website, 10news.com, if anyone did want to help. We're live in Chula Vista. Mimi Alcala, 10 News. Thanks.